to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds of light heavyweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Crusher's approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. He's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Here we go. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. by Crusher. Crusher's rocked by that punch. Clinch, clinch. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. You got nice. Halfway through round number one. Blocks <laughs> that belt line well. Big shot. Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because... Okay. Solid. Rushers on the canvas. Now you're going to have to see the guts it takes to fight back from that. lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got up Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring you know joe he can't use his legs right now so he wishes and it's too late for it because he wasn't taught. But he wishes he was a guy who was taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. 
right now his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Scores up top with a left. Nice block. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Good block by Crusher. Crusher's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Good job protecting himself. Halfway through this round. Not much action as he just ties up. Good solid overhand left. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Fine looking right hand by Crusher. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to we see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Uh, oh, we need up there, that's it. Keep boxing just like that. You don't need that. I Listen now, you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. I don't know, I don't, you know, you, you got to impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Good way to protect the midsection. He is swinging away, even though he's in bad, bad shape. And he's going to leave himself even more open by swinging. He'd be better off getting those hands up and trying to weather this storm defensively. Go 
one look at right hand after he got hit. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. To the head he goes with a left hand. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date, and he wants to get to it. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on a rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. by Crusher. what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. You're not winning. And you're not losing, kid. But you're not winning. And we have to throw more to this guy. We can pull it in. Keep moving, keep your hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. You got any more of these? I really want to. Hold it. More blood? Uh, yeah. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four, but I think he's got the crushers in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch that he needed very badly. Really frustrating his opponent now. Crusher's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Solid left. on the wrong end of a razor-sharp hook. Halfway through round number four. Oh. You're still not 
see that coming. Now let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, you got this one. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Able to dismiss that body shot. Teddy, he's completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, oh, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying I wanna go swimming. Guess what, there's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. with the left hand. Plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive joe one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits have good fundamentals been put there you're gonna find out right now he needs them right now well where was this earlier all of a sudden now you see he's being effective and being aggressive and outworking his man when for most of the fight he was the one being outworked. Well, eating about two dozen jabs, you know what? It can change your mind a little bit. He figures now, let the other guy start Let's eating a little. Let's see some more heavy. Good step back counter punch there. <laughs> little head hunting with the left. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. <laughs> We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol.
Take a deep breath. Relax, relax. You're doing well. You just need to pace yourself. Just relax. That was good. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, <laughs> where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Crusher's clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you've got to wonder if the referee's going to start coming in there, give him a few warnings right now. But he's got to get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find a way to get on the offense. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Protecting his head well with his guard. One of those fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A game. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. You got to land a big punch down. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights. That's going to be very hard to score. Fires right back at him.
able to cover up that gut. Halfway through the seventh round. Back to the body. Blocked by Crusher. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Big right hand. Look at that. Remember earlier he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And this round comes to an end. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? There you go. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? We I want it. to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his right. mistakes. Oh, we need more up there, that's it. Listen, he's done. He's done. We don't need that. I'm going to double up on the Nico. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. Crusher's up on Teddy's scorecard, but we know with what we've seen so far, this could change quickly. He's been hit. Yeah, he has a bad habit, and he's been hit for one reason. That bad habit of pulling back from punches. Every once in a while he does it, he gets away with it. But every once in a while he misjudges the distance, and he gets nailed. Two snapping jabs by Crusher. He took a shot. But he came back with a right hand of his own. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. The halfway point of round number eight. Excellent counter punch by Crusher. It's okay. Pay him back. doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand 
what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. <laughs> Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you we feeling out there? Yeah, you're not winning this fight, mate. Right. You're not oh, winning. Water, He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. All right? And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Yeah! Good defensive skill. Crusher's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. <laughs> Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. seconds into the ninth round. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Parries that punch away. Comes right back with a shot of his own. says right back with the left hand nice one. he gets hit but he gives it right back Gets rid of that effort. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Good job staying away from the danger there. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? I, yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight and the kind of fight where you let up for a moment you're gonna lose it okay listen you can throw him off with head movements that's it throw him off with head movements another round and if it keeps up with the rest of them it'll be closely contested and hard to score. <laughs> no.
Nice block by Crusher. Crusher's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. And he's holding. Another clinch. Good job! He comes back with a right hand. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to hey, simply hey, defend hey, himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. One, two, one, two. towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Watch the hook. And that's the end of round 10. Don't stand in front of it. Nice run. That was good. We have this one. some punches now, okay? We got it. I mean, you're losing this fight. Now, you have to take chances. Right. Come on, relax. Relax. We're losing every round, so let... To me, this looks like a fight where one guy's pulling away from the other. I know it's very close on your scorecard as we start this 11th round, but you can see where the momentum lies. Yeah, the momentum is in his control. He knows it, and he's the only one who can give it up right now. And I don't think he's gonna. after getting tagged himself. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. And he just holds on there. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. Keep working the body. 
everybody. Stay away from them. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good block. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Good defensive skill with the block by Crusher. Ten seconds remaining in this round. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight, and I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Don't fight his fight! You don't need that. I'm throw that away. Last round, okay? This is it. Last round. We got you it. have this one. Just be smart. You have this one. All right. Listen. You need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want Here it is. The final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Showing you some defense there with the block. the headshot. Come on, kid, focus. It head comes open. right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Able to get rid of that one. Crusher's proving to be elusive. <laughs> Halfway through this 12th and final round. Crusher's <laughs> hit by a big left hand. That's where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the ropes. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round.
There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Very close fight. Tough to score some of those rounds, but they did. And for that, let's send it up to the ring. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judge agreed, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.